Hey everyone, welcome to Pi247. Um, so you've built your website and uh, you want to enter a uh, capture form. So um, if people are interested to learn more, you want them um, to enter their info and um, subscribe to your Pi email list. And uh, the best way to, to do that, I'm just going to show you. So first of all, um, you just click on Pi email. Um, before you, we do this, uh, just make sure that you have your autoresponder set up. Uh, there is another tutorial about that um, on the same uh, channel. And um, yeah, once you have your autoresponder set up, um, just click on uh, Pi Email Marketing. And I'm going to show you how to grab that HTML code. So this is really easy. Um, so you just click on List. Then you select the current uh, list that you're using. So I'm just going to go with Capture Page. Then on the right side you'll see uh, create subscription, unsubscription form. So just click that and uh, this is going to give you a generic one. Uh, you can change the style here. Uh, I like to have it blue usually, but that's just personal, right? Um, then I click on options. Um, I'm just going to select my uh, list that I'm using currently to collect all of my leads. And I also want to have, uh, in the capture form, I want to have people's uh, first name, last name, and phone number. So uh, I've just um, kept my finger on control, and then I just highlighted these three, and then I just hit apply settings. Done. Now I'm just going to quickly double check if I like how it looks. Yep, so all these forms are here. And uh, now I'm just going to go for the code. So I'm just going to click HTML code, going to highlight this entire area, copy. And um, now I'm going to go to my Pi Webs. Um, yeah, so I've already opened my Pi Webs over here. This is my website. I'm going to go over, switch over to the uh, page. Uh, oh, geez, sorry about that. It's, it's just in the middle of the city here. That's where the headquarters is. Um, so, yeah, so just click on Contact Us. And it's going to, um, yeah, like in my case scenario, that's my page uh, where I want people to connect with me afterwards if they're interested. So um, for, the, for any HTML code that I have that I want to uh, implement into my site, uh, I just use the Add Content button, I scroll down, I click Embed, I drag it, and I drop it when I see it, uh, when, it yeah, when like the thing um, turns blue, then I just drop it. And um, so one thing to know, you won't actually see the form over here, but if you hit Publish, and... Um, yeah, if you just hit publish again, it's going to actually uh, populate on your live site. So it's not going to show it right away in your in your editor, um, but it's going to be shown on your on your live site. So let's just go to that site for a second and uh, check it out if it worked. And of course it did. So I'm just going to go in menu. Just going to scroll down to contact us. And then it's going to load the page uh, where I've just published uh, the form. So it just takes a few seconds to build up. And um, hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me guess. There. So now it should. Uh, let me just refresh for a second here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. All right. Uh, so hold on. It actually didn't show for some reason. Um, oh, yeah. You know what? I forgot to put in the code, so that's definitely the reason why. So actually, in this case, it did uh, it did populate, uh, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it will populate on the live side. So um, yeah, just don't forget to put in the code because else nothing is going to happen, <laughs> as we can see. And uh, I'm just going to refresh the page here, and now I should see the um, email contact form. And um, as soon as people fill, uh, fill in this form, it's gonna directly either sh uh, it's gonna directly send them an email to so they can confirm uh, their subscription to your list. Uh, once they confirmed, um, you can either have the autoresponder set up to have your business run on, run on automatic, or you can manually send them campaigns as well, like newsletters or. If you have any any updates uh, regarding your pie business or any or any other business that you um, currently have. All right. Um, now, if you really want to get uh, creative, um, Pi Email also offers um, more options. So you can uh, go to Wufo, um, sign up for free, make really cool looking forms, and uh, then just connect it with your Pi Email. 
Uh, also, HiRise is a is a great free uh, program to organize and con and uh, yeah, just organize your contacts and leads. And there is already um, a category in uh, Pi Email to you know to like organize stuff, but um, HiRise does have a little bit more options, and of course, it's also free. And um, yeah, so this is really really cool. Uh, our uh, programmers right now, they are currently working on um, integrating Pi Email with Pi Messaging uh, because, yeah, as you know, Pi Messaging is, uh, is, is, a, yeah, is a true uh, push button uh, email system here. And, um, yeah, we're going to integrate uh, Pi Email into this one here, so it's going to be a little bit easier or, yeah, just even easier to set up um, your tools, right? Or like your Pi Email. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this was uh, resourceful. If you have any other questions, uh, please send an email to um, support at pi247.com or just leave a comment uh, below this video. Thank you very much.